Welcome back. I'm attorney Andrew Bethel of Bethel Law, where we talk estate planning, finances, real estate, and taxes. Today we're going to discuss an important federal law that can play a big role in estate planning when it comes to your house and the mortgage, the Garn St. Germain Depository Institutions Act of 1982. I'll explain what it means, what it does, and why it matters to you. Don't worry if you're not familiar with legal, tax, or real estate terms, I'll define them as we go along. Don't forget to subscribe and let's dive in. So what is the Garn St. Germain Act? Which from here on out, I'll just call the Act. In simple terms, it's a law that was passed in 1982 named after its sponsors, Senator Jake Garn and Congressman Fernand St. Germain. The main goal was to reform and deregulate savings and loan associations. One of the key features of the Act was that it allowed these associations to diversify their activities. Previously, they were mostly restricted to residential home mortgages, but after the act, they could get involved in commercial lending and other investments. Now you might be wondering, how does this affect you and your estate planning? Let's get into that. A significant part of the act is that its impact on what's called a due on sales clause. This is a provision in a mortgage agreement that allows the lender to demand full repayment of the loan if the property is sold. Makes sense, right? You sell your home, so the money you used to buy it in the first place needs to be paid back. But the act created exceptions to this clause. Can you guess where this becomes important in estate planning? Yep, it's when a house is inherited. According to the act, when a relative directly inherits a property and decides to live in that property, they may be able to assume the existing mortgage without having to qualify for the loan under their own credit. In essence, they get to continue making payments on the original loan terms. This is a huge advantage for heirs who might otherwise be unable to keep the property due to an immediate financial burden of paying off a mortgage in full. While this sounds straightforward, there are important details to know. First, I've seen it stated that not all relatives qualify for these protections. However, I haven't seen anything that gives a defined list of who is and isn't a relative. In fact, the terms of the act don't seem to define relative, so as long as the beneficiary is related, they should be covered. Second, if you're considering setting up a revocable living trust, good news. The act also protects against the due on sale clause when a home is placed in such a trust. Third, this protection will also apply to your mobile or manufactured home. There are different rules that may apply to say whether such a home is real property or personal property, but if a loan was taken out to fund the purchase, the inheriting relative can take over the loan payment without having to qualify. And what about divorce or separation? Again, the act offers protection. An ex-spouse can assume the mortgage without triggering the due on sale clause if they receive the property as part of the divorce decree or separation agreement and they plan to live in it. Now, which loans does the act cover? Generally, it pertains to federally related mortgage loans. This means residential mortgage loans made by federally regulated financial institutions or loans insured or guaranteed by the federal government. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or Ginnie Mae, which most loans are. Examples include a conventional mortgage loan from a national bank, a mortgage loan insured by the Federal Housing Administration, an FHA loan, or a loan guaranteed by the Department of Veteran Affairs, a VA loan. On the flip side, commercial loans, loans made by private individuals, and some types of seller finance loans are generally not covered. Remember, every case is unique and the rules can vary depending on the specifics of your situation. Always consider seeking professional advice for your particular case. In the end, the act is an important tool for estate planning. It provides flexibility and protections that can be vital when dealing with an inherited property. If you have any questions on this or any other topics, then please drop a comment below and I'll do my best to cover them in future videos. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more easy to understand insights into estate planning, taxes, real estate, and finances. You can watch our last video here or check out this other great one.